What's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Today we are going to discuss the deal with my window tent. So what happened was, here's a little backstory. I've had the truck over six years, had tinted windows on it the whole time. Over the six year period, I've gotten two tickets, both from a state trooper, both from the same guy, the guy that everybody hates around town. He will literally pull you over for a window tent. He will give you a ticket. He's not gonna bat an eye, but it's always the troopers that screw with us. And when I say us, us people with window tent. I got pulled over by one of the local town cops <clears throat> recently, probably, it's probably a couple months back. I think in one of my videos I might have talked about it, but he didn't give me a ticket and I was just straight up honest with the guy. And maybe that's where I went wrong. Maybe I should have been like, oh, sorry, something. But he can look up that I've gotten two tent tickets with this already. So I'm just like, dude, the guy, are, like, it's common sense that the guy knows already when he sees my record that I've had two tent tickets. Clearly this dude is not pulling the tent off or at least he don't care. I just figured worst case scenario, they keep giving me tent tickets. I pay the $125. Life is good for both parties. Well, this guy, I told him the deal. I was like, man, I've had two tickets and I, he was actually kind of a cool officer. So I was like, man, he might be all right. And so I told him, I was like, hey man, I, he goes, how come you haven't pulled it off? And I was like, honestly, I just, I really like the way it looks. And I have my dog with me all the time, and I kind of like that it keeps people from being able to see if my dog's in there. But if he's in there, he's locked in there, and I literally do not leave him alone for more than five minutes. Even if it's hot out, the truck's running, I just don't leave him in there because it's just, that's irresponsible. I mean, I guess if the truck's going to run longer than that, whatever, but... So the dude was cool. He kind of understood. He acted like his windows were tinted too on his car, but they were 70% because in Iowa, you need to have 70% visibility through just the driver door and the passenger door. The back doors, the back windows can be spray painted black. I thought all was well. He was like, okay. He just basically left me with a warning. He said, oh, you know, you, he's like, man, you got to pull, you're going to have to end up pulling it, you know, because they're going to start revoking registrations, you know, he's like, and he said something about getting something in the mail, but he wasn't like really too specific maybe it's a warning i don't know i get a letter from the dot certified so i had to go sign for it i'm like shit i know exactly what this is going to be for it's going to be for my window tent and i bet you it's for revoking my registration sure enough this letter that i got is a letter that it's not a warning it's if i don't pull the tent they are revoking my registration by said date <sighs> this sad day but we're gonna pull it off. So we got the heat gun, and we're gonna pull the tin off. I'm gonna tell you what though, they won the battle right now, but after, and so after this, I'm pulling the tin off, I'm heading to the police station, so then they can sign the piece of paper, and then I can take it to the DOT, and they're not gonna revoke my registration. And best believe, there's an 80 to 90% chance that I'm gonna go retint these windows after the DOT does whatever they have to do. All right guys, so it's officially the next day. We didn't end up making it to the police station last night after pulling the window tent. And that was kind of, it, it, it wasn't as bad as I thought it was gonna be. It's so weird without, Wrigley, what, what do you think about no tent? We're gonna retent these windows. I'm not feeling the no tent. I feel like my windows are down 24 seven right now. Everyone can see me. I was doing society a favor by le not letting them see my ugly mugs. It's, it's the police department's fault. So we are going to stop and get some breakfast because it is, um, yeah, I'm running late to work now because of this. And on top of that, it also snowed today here in Iowa. Wrigley, what do you think about the snow today? today? Yeah, I'll take a uh, number three. Wrigley, unfortunately, they don't have a, uh, they don't have pup cups here, dude. Sorry, man. Did you order anything? Good morning. Good morning. 8.59. Best breakfast sandwich in the world. The egg white grill. There we go. We are right. Frigley. We have made it to the police headquarters. 
All right, so the paperwork is signed. That took way too long. And now we gotta drop the Wrigley man off. Wrigley, he's gotta go home. And then I'm going to swing by the DOT because it's right by my work, pretty close. And then head to work for the day. We'll give you guys a glimpse of what the trucks be looking like now with no tent. So this is her. It's just not the same. I guess we're gonna deal with it for a little bit. I don't know, I haven't made an exact decision yet. Okay, I'm gonna stop talking. I got, I'm gonna go to work, decide on what we're gonna do, and possibly go get my windows tended this week. been a few days I decided to sleep on it before I just went and immediately got the windows retinted I haven't had windows that are not tinted in years we're talking over 10 years I decided I was like you know what I'll just I'll try to be an adult and I'll just go without tinted windows and honestly it's not that bad pretty much the only reasons like I said that I really anymore actually now I just really want it because like if Wrigley's in here and he's just less visible other than that, I do not care. The truck looks all right without it. The deal is, I take a certain way to work. If I if I take the interstate, there are always troopers, and they're always pulling people over. And if I take the interstate, and they don't have someone pulled over, and they're looking to pull someone over, they're going to get me for window tent every time. So now I can take the interstate to work, because I don't have to worry about them messing with me. So that's a plus, or just anybody in general. So the backs are tinted. They're pretty dark. I think we're just gonna run with it for a bit see what happens maybe I'll get a wild hair and be like let's retin them but right now I think we're just gonna go without if I plan to go anywhere where it involves Wrigley staying in the truck for five ten minutes maybe I'll just leave him at home Wrigley what do you think about that it'll just be easier the only thing that I worry about is if I do retint them and I get pulled over and then I don't know if they can look that up if they've seen that I was supposed to that they signed off on it I don't know if that's like on my record or whatever so I'm just I don't want to I don't know what will happen if, if anybody if you guys watch this video and this has happened to you or you guys might know what could happen let me know because that's what I'm just more curious about is just what could happen I don't want them to pull me over and then for some dumb reason they like do revoke my registration for like a period of time because I can't go without my vehicle so I d I would I'd have to believe they're not going to maybe they'll just do the same thing again but then I have to pull the window tin off again and it's just like you know what screw it so we're gonna leave them that's it really what do you think about it that's all I got for you on this video today leave a comment below if I should tin them or if you guys do have any intel on what could happen other than that me and Wrigley we'll catch you on the next one Wrigley close him out let's see if he bites me last time he bit me when I went to close out the video give me your paw oh I'm gonna get it give me your paw give me that paw give me that paw Okay, he's not going to close out the video. He wants to play. Peace!